Carolina, and it's my honor to be part of Cole's YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be teaching you a really um, different type of class. So the idea of this class is to really embody our warrior energy, our energy of we can do difficult things, our energy of, yes, we're going to show up for ourselves and we're going to go get it, whatever that goal is. So why, why this type of practice? Because many times we can get so much in our heads about the things that are not working right. We get stuck in all the reasons why we cannot get what we truly want in life, whatever, whatever that thing is, right? So my invitation today is to really embody what we want to get in life. Who do we want to be in this life? In, at what capacity, what quality of a woman or of a man we want to be today, right? So for that, we're going to do a couple of embodiment practices, um, a guided visualization, and then we're going to go and really kill it, okay? As I was saying before, it's going to be a tough class. It's not a very mellow class. <laughs> we're going to really sweat it. So make sure you have some water, um, a towel, that would be great. And let's do it, okay? Cool. We're going to start standing in the middle of the mat. We're going to close our eyes. And we're going to start taking a big, deep belly breath. Feel free to grab your tummy, place a hand on your tummy, another one in your heart if you want. And we're going to breathe. And start grounding ourselves. We're going to really feel the energy from the floor, from the earth, from the mat coming all the way up from the bottom of our feet all the way up to the top of our head, feeling connected to the earth, grounded, strong. And we're gonna take three deep belly breaths and we're gonna exhale with a really big sigh out loud so I want you to make noise this time okay not like ah no we're gonna go like ah really let go of everything that is like <clears throat> icky inside right so close your eyes again <laughs> let's take a big breath in and exhale ah, all the self-doubt all the negative self-talk inhale exhale ah, all out of your system. Inhale. Last time. <sighs> Amazing. Cool. Let go of your hands. Let them be relaxed in the sides of your body. Roll your shoulders back and take a, a little bit of a wider stance. Keeping your eyes closed. Continue having that cycle of breath. We're going to start imagining exactly who do we want to be? So if you were able to take away from the path everything that is blocking you to be the person that you want to be today, if you were to take away the fears, the challenges, the struggles, um, the toxic people. So keeping the hands relaxed in the sides of your body, roll the shoulders back and down. Feel your strength coming all the way down from the earth, keeping your chest open, your chin up, proud and strong stance. And we're gonna visualize and get super clear on who do we want to be today. If you were to take away from the path all the obstacles, all the challenges, all the struggles, all the blocks, that the environment or ourselves are putting in the way for us to get where we want to be, who will you be today, right? So the idea is to drop in into our, the highest version of ourselves. If, if you could really just be who you want to be without like any of that noise that is saying that you can't, who will you choose to be? So let's get super clear on that 
and start imagining that higher version of ourselves. Who this person is? How do they move? How do they sit? How do they talk? How are they, how are they dressed up? What's their job? What's their relationship like? So start imagining this best version of yourself that has overcome all the obstacles, all the tribulations, and is already on the other side of all the fears and the negative self-talk that we tend to give to ourselves. So basically, is our best cheerleader, our best supporter, the opposite of the harsh inner critic that we all have, right? So this person is unleashed. They are living the life that they want, and they're doing what they want, and they're getting everything that they want. So now that you're clear on that, keeping your eyes closed, you're gonna take a step and step into this person. You can imagine that in front of you, at the top of the mat, this person, the best version of ourselves, is there. So keeping the eyes closed, we're gonna take a step forward and embody this person. Feel the energy, feel the power, feel the strength, the resiliency, the courage, the kindness, the compassion of the best version of you. It already lives inside you. It's already there. We just need to embody it. Always we need to ask ourselves that question. Is this that I'm doing, eating, breathing, living, choosing, conducive to the best version of myself? Always choose from that space. Take a big breath in. And let this strength, juiciness, possibility really get into all the corners of your body. Feel the power and the um, unleashed version of yourself. Really feel it here inside your body. Beautiful. So keeping the eyes closed, we're going to start slowly, slowly shaking. I know. If you want, you can open the eyes, but I always recommend to do everything with the eyes closed. Usually it's yummier. <laughs> and like, it really, some, it has a way to like really stay in the conscious, in the subconscious mind. Sorry. Like, it changes. It rewires your brain when you do things with your eyes closed, in my experience. I teach embodiment, so to me that makes sense. Anyway, so we're going to start shaking, 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 like if you want, go like twerking or shake everything. If you need to separate your feet to have more balance, go for it. Shake, 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 everything. Shake as fast as you can. We're basically shaking all the, all the reasons why we cannot be a person that we just embody. So everything that is telling you that you cannot embody that person, Shake it all out. Clear yourself, your body. Shake, 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 shake. Keep shaking, keep shaking, keep shaking. A little bit more. My invitation again is to close your eyes. And again, shake off all the reasons why you cannot be that person today. Each and every step, action, word that comes out of your mouth, it's a pivotal moment. Is it getting you closer to the person that you want to be or is it taking you away from the person that you want to be, right? So shake, 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 Keep systems apart. We're gonna inhale, really extend, grow, 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 and exhale. Again, inhale, grow, 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 extend, reach to the sky, and 
Last time, inhale. Grow, extend, touch the ceiling, and beautiful. Last practice that we're gonna do before we start the asana practice. We're gonna separate the feet mat width apart. We're gonna squat, and we're gonna go into a boxing little game, okay? So, two things. One, the goal of this exercise, we're gonna sweat so much today. <laughs> It's really hot today here in Bali. The goal of this exercise is to use your imagination. The imagination is the most powerful tool that we have to really rewire our brains and start living the life that we want, right? So that's what we're gonna do right now. The second thing that I wanted to say before I forget is that we're gonna really go for it. So we're gonna punch away. We're gonna imagine that in front of us is that person, that situation, that negative self-talk, our own version of the inner critic, um, anything that you feel is like <clears throat> stopping you to go and be who you want to be, right? So you're gonna place that thing, that person, that situation, that relationship, whatever you want, and you're gonna punch <laughs> the hell out of it, okay? So for that, that's where the second point comes around. We cannot punch like this, we need to really go for it, like with all our strength, okay? We're gonna keep the squat nice and low, really activate the glutes, and punch until I say stop. So you don't stop until I say so, okay? Cool. So, ready? Big breath in, squat as low as you can. Start, set your intention, imagine that thing you're gonna destroy right now, and go for it. Punch, 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 you got it. Heal that self-doubt, that negative self-talk, that insecurity, that fear, that situation, that annoying boss, that over-controlling person in your life, the unsolicited feedback from people, punch, 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 use your knees if you want, go for it, punch, 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 keep going, keep going, keep going, go lower this time, punch, 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 I know it's burning, keep punching, 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 oh my god, it burns, <laughs> you got this, a little bit more, use your breath, stay there, and relax, ah, beautiful, that was good. So this is something that you can do any time of the day. When, for example, you need to do something and you're like, oh my God, I don't know if I can. And like insecurity, self-doubt gets you in your head. The reasons why you cannot do what you wanna do. And go there, like go there and like just punch the hell out of that obstacle that we are putting ourselves in front of our path, right? So from here, we're gonna find the way to a tabletop position. Amazing, so we're gonna put the hands, spread the fingers wide open, and I want you to have these fingers aligned with the sides of the mat. Separate the fingers as much as you can, place the hands underneath the shoulders, so not here, or not here, right underneath the shoulders, and the knees right underneath the hip bones. From here, you take a, you're gonna take a big breath in, and we're gonna hover. That's the only thing we're gonna do. We're gonna keep breathing. It's gonna start burning so much. <laughs> Sorry, I had an ant in my leg. Yes, so this is the moment when we get to choose. Are we gonna quit on ourselves because it's burning, because it's hard, because it's difficult, or, or are we gonna show up for ourselves and just go through the things that are really difficult, right? So I know the legs are burning, I know the arms are burning. Imagine that you can have the triceps coming all the way inside, perhaps bend a little bit the elbows if you want, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult. And embrace a shake. <laughs> I'm shaking, I went for a run yesterday. And everything, everything hurts and burns right now. Keep, keep the commitment. Show up for ourselves, for yourself, mm, for each other. Keep breathing, inhale, exhale, inhale, I know it's burning, exhale, last one, I promise, inhale, exhale, and bring the hips all the way up to the sky onto a down dog position, 
So we're gonna start moving the hips in figure of eight, like if you were <laughs> kind of dancing sexy. <laughs> and letting the ankles, the knees and the hips get a really good stretch. If possible, try to keep the shoulders away from the ears. Amazing. Beautiful job. From here, walk a little bit further away. I told you we're gonna sweat. <laughs> From here, we're gonna take a big breath in and we're gonna tuck the pubic bone. Go to plank position. Exhale, bend the knees and go down and back. Inhale, spinal waves. So we're hovering all the time not touching the mat with our knees activating the triceps the lower abs oh jeez i'm burning <laughs> the quads your glutes a couple more times and also uh, mobilizing the spine which is super important that's so important because it allows for the Kundalini, the energy to keep flowing all the way from our lower chakras all the way up to the top of your head. Beautiful job. Keep going. I know it burns. Inhale, last one. And go back onto the hovering. Walk with your hands a little bit back and hover. Whew. I know it's burning. <laughs> you got this. Keep pushing. This time we're going to try to bring the back of our hearts a little bit higher, like connected to the ceiling. So instead of dropping here, really bring the triceps together. Can you see that I'm shaking? Yes, you can. Probably if you're shaking too, we're shaking together. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> you got this, keep going. Inhale, exhale, extend back. Let me walk into the center of the mat again. Beautiful job. From here. We're gonna take a big breath in, lift the right leg, and guess what we're gonna do? <laughs> Exhale and bring the knee towards the elbow, and back. Inhale, 10 times. Exhale. Inhale. Beautiful. Inhale. So every time that I teach a class, I always say, use your breath, use the sound to activate your core even further. Squeeze the glute at the top, exhale. Beautiful. Five more. You got this. Inhale. Ah, burning. Last two. And the last one. And inhale. Exhale, bring the leg down. Give it a little shake. Move to the sides. And we go on the opposite side. Inhale, lift the left leg up. So the idea here is to really make the most out of each movement. So instead of like just bringing the, the leg up like me, you know, really point those toes, squeeze the glutes together, activate your core, activate the triceps. And from here, inhale, determination. Beautiful, inhale. Wonderful. Beautiful job. So we're working our willpower, our determination, the muscle that allows us to really show up for ourselves when life gets tough. Oof, burning. Don't quit on yourself, keep going. Only three more. Two. <laughs> I'm dripping inside. Inhale, exhale, bring the leg down. And we're gonna look ahead. Bring the knees into the mat. Can you see that I'm dripping? <laughs> and we're gonna work with the hands to take a child pose. Feel free to separate the knees if you need a little bit more space. And we're gonna place the palms of the hands facing up to give it a little break to the wrists. Just stay here, breathing. You are doing amazing. So, so, so good. My friend Cole always says, we can do hard things, 
we can do difficult things. So every time that we are, oh my God, this is too difficult. Why life is so challenging. I don't know if I can do that. <sighs> we just need to go back to this inner strength, this inner power, our resiliency. And remember that we got this. <sighs> Beautiful job. So even if your heart is like beating like crazy right now, like mine, <laughs> and you're sweating buckets, even if it gets to that point, you still can do it. You're showing up for yourself. How cool is that? High five yourself. <laughs> Beautiful job. So we're going to go again. Ready? Place the hands into the mat. Come all the way up. Mm, I need to do like this <laughs> to get the sweat coming all the way into my mouth. Tuck the toes under. Push yourself up. Down dog position. This time we're going to hold. Okay. So again, really tight glutes. Toes are pointing growing from the stance with the hands and we're gonna bring an exhalation the knee towards your nose and squeeze everything one two three inhale and hold it hold it hold it hold it one two three and up three more times one <laughs> two two and a half <laughs> Three, inhale. You got this, you can do it. One, two, three. Inhale, bring the right leg down. Inhale now, lift the left leg up. Point those toes, really squeeze the glutes. Exhale and go. One, two, two and a half, three. Inhale, four more times. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. You got this. I know it's hard. Probably you're sweating buckets too. But we're doing it. We're doing it together. Ready? Go back. Exhale. Two more times after this one. One. Squeeze the heels towards your glutes. Two. Ah, three. Two more times. Don't give up on yourself. You got this. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Inhale, last time, I promise. <laughs> Burning. Really squeeze everything. Inhale. Two, three. Inhale up. Exhale down. Again, child's pose. Bend the knees into the floor and relax. Feel free to have the palms of your hands facing up or perhaps on the sides of your legs, all the way here. Give it a, a little wiggle. Move the hips side to side. You're doing amazing. <sighs> Beautiful job. Focus on breathing. Savor these moments. So, sometimes the pleasure, the let's be in the present moment, resides in little situations like this. When you gave it your all, and now you get to rest. And it's like, gosh, life is so good. <laughs> I get to breathe. <laughs> Right? So enjoy this moment. Be here. Right now. Enjoying the sweat. <sighs> enjoying the burn. Amazing job. Awesome. So bring the hands all the way. Back. Tuck the toes under. Down dog position. From here. Inhale. Lift the right leg up. You're going to bring it in between the hands into a low lunge. From here, making sure that the hips are square, we're gonna swipe the arms all the way up and go deep into the lunge. Now we're gonna burn like for real. Keep the hands up, Whew, burning. Keep the hands up, and you're gonna imagine that you want to break the mud apart. So this leg wants to really, the foot really wants to go all the way there, and this foot really wants to go back. So it's opposite forces, okay? You want to break the mat apart. That is going to give you the isometric contraction in the muscles to really work it. Ooh, beautiful. Stay here. So, as yoga is always a reflection of life, we want to have a strong, solid base, but then have always space in our hearts. Always have the softness, the grace, the tenderness, 
available, right? So keeping this energy, opposite forces, strong in our stance. With the upper body, we're gonna inhale, and melt in our hearts. <sighs> really have those like very delicate hands. Inhale, exhale. <sighs> Once again, inhale, and open the heart. <sighs> Beautiful job. You're gonna interlace the fingers behind your sacrum, roll the shoulders down, try to open your heart a little bit more, and enjoy the duality of this situation where your legs are strong. There's so much energy coming all the way from the legs, all the way shooting outside of your heel, and this knee is shooting straight forward, but your heart is relaxed, open, open to receive. Smile in the face, perhaps. This is my favorite smile, have you seen it? <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> anyway, from here, we're gonna pivot the back foot and we mill the arms into warrior two. So I know it's burning so much right now, the leg, but we got this. So go as deep as you can, open the arms from warrior two, and this is the time to remember the intention of the beginning of the class. Who do you want to be when life gets tough? Are you gonna show up as your best self when life gets triggering? or are we gonna revert to old patterns? We got this, right? So I know it's burning so much, but use the fierceness in your heart to come all the way through your eyes. Oh, and shoot through the fingers all the way in the distance. That's your goal, that's where we're going. Not in the past, in the future, here. Oh, we got this, separate the feet, opposite forces. Extend, take a break. Inhale, and we're gonna imagine that we're gonna push, we're gonna, sorry, we're gonna pull some ropes, okay? Just to remember, remind, sorry, I remind ourselves of our inner resiliency, of our inner strength, okay? So, we're gonna imagine that they're gonna be like some ropes and you're gonna, ah, and this is where it gets fun because you get to scream. <laughs> if you don't have kids around or someone you may disturb, this is the time to like really get that energy out, okay? So, go on to wire two. You're gonna inhale and get it all up. Ah, beautiful. And ah, beautiful job. Inhale. Ah, last time. Ah, squeeze, 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 squeeze. And relax. See how much grace, space, softness you have after you allow yourself to go into that space of releasing the anger, releasing the stress, right? I know this leg is burning a lot, but you got this, okay? This time we're gonna bring the right elbow to the right leg, grab your own delicious cute little bum, give it a good squeeze, and slide the hand all the way into side angle pose. Make sure that the outer edge of your left foot in this case is really grounded onto the floor, so you're not relaxing the leg inwards, just outside, pushing, activating the glutes. And you're gonna try to stack the shoulders on top of each other so they're not collapsing here. I know it's burning. I know, baby. We got this. We can do hard things. <laughs> and we're gonna give it a last push. You're gonna just bring this hand to meet this other one, okay? Ready? Inhale, squeeze your core, and hold it. One, two, three. And bring the hands to frame the front foot. Pivot the back one. Place the left hand a little bit closer to the right foot and twist, ah, beautiful job, amazing, you're doing so great, look up, I'm growing this hand, look at the ceiling, ah, I'm shaking so much, <laughs> place the right hand to frame the front foot, and we're gonna go to bring the left leg to meet the right one, using our lower abs, so we're gonna really hover, okay, if you need some blocks, go for it, Otherwise, just go here and start whoop, bringing, 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 floating this leg all the way up to meet the left leg. We're gonna shake a little bit. Beautiful job. Bend the knees and slowly, slowly, slow motion, start rolling the spine back up. Let the head hang loose and go slow motion as slow as you possibly can. Feel the heat in your body, your heart beating fast. 
roll the shoulders back and down and go back into Chadasana. Let's remind ourselves who was the best version of ourselves that was standing in the front, in the top of the mat and that we stepped forwards towards, remember? So staying here, really embodying from head to toes, I'm dripping in sweat, um, the best version of ourselves. Feel the beauty of yourself that is already living inside you. You already have all the skills, all the talent, everything you need to live the best possible life that you can imagine. We're gonna take a big breath in. Exhale and down. Straight spine, then the knees to protect the lower back. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale and bring the right foot back, left foot back. Go onto your knees if you want and melt into the floor. Inhale, roll the shoulders back, press the pubic bone against the floor and grow into cobra. We're gonna stay here and start waving a little bit our hips, making sure the pubic bone is always against the mat and tuck the toes under, squeeze the core and go slowly onto down dog. Beautiful job. From here, we're gonna lift the left leg up in the inhalation. Exhale, we're gonna do the opposite side. Frame the front foot, sorry, bring the front foot. <laughs> oh my God, jeez, sorry. I can clap with this. <laughs> Inhale, lift the left foot up and bring it in between the hands. Excellent. Find your square hips and swipe the arms up. So this is the time of the left leg to start burning or shaking making sure that we have what we were talking before, that opposite energy. So the front foot is really pushing forward. The, one, the back one is really straight and shooting energy all the way from the hips straight out through the, knee, through the heel, sorry. Arms are up, strong stance, squeeze the glutes, try to rip the mat apart with your feet. <sighs> and ground yourself here. Beautiful job. We're gonna go back into a strong, solid base and a relaxed, open, receptive heart. So inhale and grow, exhale and melt. Ah, beautiful job. Again, inhale, arms up, exhale. Beautiful, inhale, exhale. Melt into that, one more time. Just because it's so yummy to do this. Exhale, oh, melt. Interlace the fingers. This time the odd way. So if before you did this, now do it the kind of like, what, what, what are we doing type of way, okay? So interlace the fingers behind your sacrum. Roll the shoulders back and down. Sink into the low lunge and look up. Try to melt and open your heart. Surrender. Knowing that your legs have your back, you know? There's nowhere below the mat that we can drop. The last thing, the worst thing that could happen is just get out of the pose. And what, what do we do when that happens? We just go back into it, right? The same way that we do in life. So keeping the heart open. Ah, beautiful job. Then release the hands. And this time we're gonna pivot the back foot, we kneel the arms onto warrior two. So as I was saying before, make sure that the outer edge of your feet is always in contact with the mat, pressing outside and go as deep as you can with the legs. From here, open the hands onto warrior two. Really use your determination, your strength, your power to get you through this moment. Remind yourself of your why. Why do you wanna upgrade your life? Why do you wanna quit that habit that is not the best for you? Why do you wanna let go of those things that don't serve you anymore? What's the reason? Why? So remind yourself of your why. Maybe it's because you wanna show up as a better version of yourself for your kids, for yourself, for your partner. Maybe you want to create a charity. Maybe you want to make a new business. Like whatever the reason is, you have everything you need to actually go and do it and rock it, okay? So this time, we're gonna inhale and pull those ropes down. Ah, get it all out. Inhale. Ah, embrace the burn. 
Me hail and oh, make some noise last time. Oh, squeeze, 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 squeeze everything, everything, everything. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze the glue, separate. Ah, melt. See how much space you have. How much more space you have now? I know it's burning. You got this. Now we're gonna bring the left elbow to meet the left leg, and again squeeze that. Kill little bum of yours. Give it a good squeeze, and extend this side angle forward. Beautiful job. Look up. Make sure your shoulder is open. It's not collapsing here. Shoulder is away from the ear. Feel the burn. Go for it. You got this. Oh my gosh. We're doing so well. We're such rock stars. <laughs> Beautiful job. Keep breathing. Exhale. Bring the right hand to frame the front foot with the left hand as well. And pivot the back foot so it's straight this time. And go and make a twist. <sighs> Look up. I know the leg is burning a lot, but you got this. Couple more breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Bring the left hand to frame the front foot. And we're going to go back this time onto down dog. From here. Guess what we're going to do? We're going to hover again. <laughs> Don't hate me. I know you love me. <laughs> Inhale. And hover. Bring the hands closer to your knees. And we're going to hover here. This time, really bringing the back of your heart all the way up to the ceiling. Shake, shake, shake if you need to. We got this. Inhale, exhale. Two more times. Big breath in. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Stay there. Go a little bit lower. Inhale. Exhale. Bring the hips up. Down dog. Need a break. What did Cole say? She said something to me. I don't know what it is. Okay, cool. Awesome. Oh, okay. Almost finished. Like seven more minutes. Beautiful job. So from here we rest. And we're going to take a couple of hops. And start really, really, really um, activating our core. So from here, inhale, bend the knees. Exhale and jump. Back and forth like little frogs. Just a couple of times, I promise. Three, two, and one. From here, we're gonna bring the legs up. Sorry, the hips up. Bring the feet together. If you need the blocks, that's completely fine. And we're gonna take a chair pose. So, bend the knees as low as you can. And bring those arms up. Excuse me while I sweat. <laughs> My body weight in water. Beautiful job. So I know this is like really, really, really burning. But I always say in this post that it's one of my favorites because it reminds us that even when life gets really tough, we can be graceful. We can be compassionate. We can be kind. So this part of your body is like screaming and it's like, ah, it burns. I want to get out of the post. And your upper body can be, ah, life is so beautiful. Even in the hardest of the moments in life, I can be graceful. I can be open, I can be understanding, tolerant, compassionate, right? Ah, beautiful job. Inhale deeply, bring the hands into your heart, and extend the legs, bring the hands down to the floor, give it a good shake, Ooh, burning. And we're gonna do this the last time, okay? Inhale, bend the knees as low as you can, and up. Embody the grace. We can do hard things with elegance. <sighs> Squeeze, go a little bit lower, a little bit lower, a little bit lower. <laughs> and extend the legs. Beautiful. Give it a good shake. Oof. How good was that, right? You are such a legend. Ooh, burning, burning, burning. Alrighty, from here. We are about to finish the class, I promise. <laughs> Inhale, arms up. Scroll, exhale, bend the knees, go all the way down, inhale, halfway up, exhale, you're going to bring the right foot back, left foot back, bring the knees onto the floor if you want, and melt, 
inhale cobra exhale down dog and from here we're gonna play a little game I want you to close your eyes and find your way have a look first find your way to have a creative creative option to find your back onto the mat so do whatever crazy thing you need to do if you want until you get into this position okay cool so let's do it together we are in down dog we're gonna close our eyes and find a way creatively whatever you want to do to dance a little bit on that mat to find uh, your back against the mat go for it while I take this thing there we go out of my hip beautiful so ah uh, wonderful job from here we're gonna bring the knees to our chest give it a good squeeze amazing and we're gonna give ourselves a little massage we deserve this we did such an amazing job seriously that was super 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 good <sighs> wonderful job make circles with your hips if you want to give it a good squeeze now we're gonna bring the outer edge of our um, feet <laughs> to be grasped by our hands separate the knees a little bit more and do a little baby pose play around so be creative explore the possibilities of your body extend both legs if you want one at a time bend the knees make circles with your ankles just enjoy moving your um, legs and your hips and your lower back beautiful job amazing separate the feet a little bit if this is your current, um, I almost say anterior, which is the French version for, of course, with really bad pronunciation, uh, for like ballet when you say like, open your hips, anterior. <laughs> so as much as you want or as much as it feels comfortable, separate the feet apart. Ah, and enjoy. You earn this moment. You worked so hard today. I'm super proud of you. You were amazing. Ooh, beautiful job bring the feet back onto the mat and keeping one foot on the ground you're gonna bring the opposite one if you want you can grab a scarf um, how you call those a strap or just bring uh, grab your mm, leg <laughs> with your hands and keeping a semi bent angle here flex the foot and bring it closer to your leg if you want and if you can with a strap or with a um, scarf you're gonna try to bring the toes towards your face we're gonna breathe together inhale exhale and bring it closer to your face one more time big breath in exhale and bring it closer to your head to your head even if it's like one centimeter inhale bring it closer to your face amazing job change legs bring this one up grab here here or here whatever you can inhale exhale and bring the toes closer to your face big breath in exhale and closer to your face big breath in last one inhale exhale beautiful job second stretch that we're gonna do we're gonna place both knees one on top of each other we're gonna grab the outer edges of our ankles and we're gonna bring them closer to our armpits. Two breaths here. Inhale. How good it feels. <laughs> so good for the hips, especially after all the work we did. Amazing job. Mm, beautiful. And change. Whoops. Here. Ah. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. So I want you to really savor. We're gonna place first, sorry, the feet onto the ground, hands shoulder height, extended outside, and we're gonna drop the knees to one side. And here you have many options. Always keeping the left, if your knees are going to the right, keeping the left shoulder 
anchor down onto the floor, and here we have a couple of options. One is just let the knees relax. The other option is having the leg fully extended, making sure that the hip is nice and down here. And actually, let's leave it at those two options. <laughs> Third option, if you want, is just grab this leg. Up to you. Always making sure the hip stays down. And we're going to face to the opposite side. So as I was saying, I want you to really drop into this moment, enjoying the stretch, and savor how good it feels when you do the thing that before you thought it was impossible to do. Every time you show up for yourself in the mat or outside of the mat, and you show up for yourself doing that thing that you thought it was like, oh my God, I cannot do this. It's like you're building that little pillar inside of yourself of, yes, I can do anything that I set my mind to. So it's super important to always cultivate that. So go back, inhale, and then the exhalation, let the knees drop to the opposite side. Extend the leg if you want. Again, making sure the hips nice and down. The right shoulder is anchored. And if you want, you can grab here. <sighs> Feel the stretch. Feel the space that's being created here. This side of your body. <sighs> and relax the neck. And bring the leg all the way down to melt into the floor to go into Shavasana. Hands facing, palms facing up. Roll the shoulders down. Let the feet separate naturally. And enjoy this moment of stillness, relaxation. With every exhalation, I want you to melt as much as you can into the mat. Expanding your belly with every inhalation and with every exhalation. <sighs> Allowing your body to melt further and further into the mat. Relaxing the muscles in the back of your neck, the back of your eyes, the muscles around your mouth, the muscles around how you call this? <laughs> your jaw muscles. <laughs> Relax and melt. Let go, surrender. Feel the juiciness of accomplishment, of achieving your goals. How good it feels inside. Even if today maybe we didn't, we weren't able to do the seven knee to elbow or knee to nose. Even if we had to take little breaks. Even if we had to take many breaks today. We actually did it. We showed up for ourselves. And day by day, we just keep cultivating this, yes, I can muscle. <sighs> Beautiful. Feel that smile in your face for having done that difficult thing, for having given yourself permission to go through the burn to get to the other side of the fear and the shaking. <laughs> Maybe you wanted to give up. I wanted to give up, but we didn't, right? We are amazing together. Beautiful. Anchor your heels onto the mat and start giving yourself a little massage against the mat by just going up and down. Most probably this is going to give you a massage in your, um, how do you call that? Your coccyx, like the tailbone. It should feel really nice. Beautiful. Bring the knees a little bit closer to your tummy and go to the side. Keeping your eyes closed. Find this beautiful nourishing fetal position. When we get the chance each and every time to press the restart button, we can start afresh. We can start with the right foot this time. We always get to choose. Always, each and every second, we can start again and again and again. Beautiful. Use your hands to push yourself up. 
find a comfortable position, sitting. And I want you to give yourself little squeezes around your buttocks, your legs, your um, calf muscles. Beautiful. Just bringing that presence into your body again. And a little pampering because you worked so hard today. You did such an amazing job and you're super proud of yourself. Super proud of you. <laughs> English problem. <laughs> Give yourself a little massage here. Ah, beautiful. Amazing job. So inhale. Open your heart to the sky. Bring your hand to the heart center. Remind yourself of your worthiness, your value, how beautiful you are. Getting what you want and living life that you want is your birthright. Don't ever forget that. You are important, you matter, you are amazing, you're beautiful, you're epic. Take the next couple of seconds to whisper to yourself sweet words of affirmation, of positive reinforcement of how amazing you are. Mm. Beautiful job. Wrap your arms around yourself, give yourself a little hug. I always say give yourself kisses because if, if we don't love ourselves, who's going to love us, right? <laughs> give yourself a good squeeze. Inhale, arms up. And namaste. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed. Mwah.